tuberculosis, tuberculosis. TB. TB. Every three minutes, one child dies of TB. According to the WHO paper of 2022, most of the TB cases are found in Southeast Asia, that's about 45%, and about 23% are in Africa. Worldwide, 60% of children are non-diagnosed with TB, so about 200,000 children die of TB, and that translates to one child dying every after three minutes. So worldwide, every three minutes, one child dies of TB. In Uganda, our incident cases annually is about 199 out of 100,000 individuals. And of these, 12% are children who are between the ages of 0 to 14 years. So TACTIC is basically an acronym that st stands for Test, Avoid and Cure TB in Children. This is an unprecedented project that was started by MSF to help diagnose children with TB. And it mainly has three operational activities, that is implementation. And with this, they are supporting the, the MSF site to implement the new TB algorithm, as well as the new guidelines on treatment of TB. Then we have operational research, where research is being conducted in five high burden sub-Saharan African countries to help with the implementation of the algorithm, as well as in some countries we are implementing the new decisions on TB treatment. Then uh, we are also looking at advocacy, where we are uh, informing the world about their, their logarithms and how to implement and also what happens out of the operational researches. Given the burden of TB that we have seen, where we have issues with undiagnosis and no treatment of TB in children, in 2022, WHO made a few recommendations in three operational areas. One of them was diagnosis of TB in children. And in this, they recommended two new treatment decision logarithms. Algorithm A and algorithm B. Uh, the algorithm A is used at sites or centers where we are able to access X-ray services. The algorithm B is used at sites where we are unable to do X-rays uh, as part of the investigation for management of TB in children who are below 10 years. These algorithms are flow charts that allocate scores for radiology, clinical and radiological features who are available. And at the end of the day, if a child reaches a threshold of score, they can be started on TB treatment. Uh, both uh, treatment decision charts uh, or algorithms uh, have very pivotal. So these algorithms are really simplified and can be used by any health worker. Even the lower health workers can use them and can be able to initiate TB treatment in a child without sometimes even looking at what's, what is coming from the lab or what's coming out of the chest X-ray. Because we are mainly scoring for signs and symptoms for those facilities without a chest X-ray. shortening the TB treatment. So essentially, we are putting children on TB treatment for a period of six months. So for the children who are, have drug-sensitive TB, and it's non-severe TB, so it's recommended that the, we can shorten that period from the usual six months to the four months. So what have we seen that has changed between the old diagnosis and new? So we have seen that quite a number of children have been started on TB based on the logarithm score, rather than the conventional radiological and laboratory tests that we have been doing before. So quite a number of children have been started on TB based on the logarithm. So we are working in five other countries. We are working in Nigeria, Nigeria, Guinea, and South Sudan. 
we are documenting their diagnostic cascade. So what happens from the child, the time when the child comes up to when the diagnosis is made. So how is that going to help? We are going to improve um, TB screening and TB services in the different health facilities that we are working in. In terms of advocacy, all this information that we are going to have is to improve services, um, both in research and uh, interventional research in TB activities as related to diagnosis of TB in children.